Hi guys, it's Ashley on tomorrow, and I promised you guys a book review of The Blood of Olympus. I know it's late. Shut up. I know it's late. Shh. Um, so I wrote very minimal notes on this. For those of you who haven't read this book, this is the fifth book in uh, Heroes of Olympus um, by Rick Riordan, and it follows the story of Percy Jackson um, from the uh, prequel series. Um, well, this is the sequel series, so yes, the series before this would be called the prequel series, I guess. Um, uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. So this kind of is extending that story farther, except now it's not just about Percy, it's about mo multiple characters. If you haven't read Percy Jackson and the Olympians, then I really recommend it. It's really fun. Uh, Percy Jackson is amazing and witty and sassy for Sassy Jackson. His uh, adventures, his demigod adventures of being half human and half god, um, fighting off monsters and saving the world. So he saves the world again in this series, except with uh, six other demigods. Um, that's what this is about. And The Blood of Olympus is the fifth book in that series. And if you haven't read all those books, then I suggest you do, and then read this, and then come back and watch my book review of it. What this book is about, so it's the final battle. Everything has been leading up to this moment from before. This is their time to rise or fall. This is the moment. This is the moment. And where is Percy? I don't know. He doesn't have any chapters in it. He doesn't have any POV chapters in it, but that's okay because I, I felt it gave me a chance to get um, used to and to learn to love all of the other characters that I hated before, like Piper and Jason. So this was a very refreshing read, but I didn't find it a very emotional read, which I'm kind of upset about. I'm upset that I wasn't emotionally scarred by this. So anyway, if you haven't read this, then goodbye and come back later. Hi everybody! Hopefully, if you're still watching, you've read this book. So I realized that I learned to love everybody else, but then through their eyes, Percy was more of a hero. When you're the POV, then we see all of your flaws. But if Percy isn't the POV, like, if it's not the POV of Percy, then like, you get to see his heroic qualities through everyone else. It gave the other guys um, a chance to be heroes. Just everyone was a hero in this. It's really the heroes of Olympus. It's not Percy Jackson and the heroes of Olympus. I really like Jason Piper. I learned to love Jason and Piper in this. And I felt like this is more sophisticated in a way. Like, it's letting us come to love lesser characters like Jason, Piper, Reyna, and Nico. Like, we already love Reyna and Nico. I mean, I already love Reyna and Nico, but I feel like I learned more about them in this. So my sister um, doesn't like the whole uh, Reyna, Coach Hedge, Nico plot going on with the um, with the Fina Parthenos, but I actually really liked that. There were like different stories going on in this that had their own little plots that tied into each other a lot. But for the most part, they were sort of separate and they were just different stories. And I really liked that. It made it easier to like cope with everything. It made it easier to process everything as it was going on. There were little mini cliffhangers, but then as I kept on reading, like, reading Nico, little cliffhanger, then it goes on to uh, Piper, and now it's Piper's story. But what happens with Nico? Well, now I'm invested in Piper. Oh, a little cliffhanger for Piper. Now it's back to Reyna and Nico. Oh, now I'm reading Reyna's point of view for everything. So I really liked it, actually. It gave me a chance to settle, in a way. Like, I really settled with all the characters, and I liked it. I liked the book. I wasn't in love with the book, and that annoys me. In a way, like, the bigger characters that we all loved in the past, um, not having uh, not having their points of views like made it easier to let go of the series once it finished. So Percy had his first line on page ninety. Page ninety, seriously, a hundred pages in, and only now we see Percy. And then Percy is actually being in the book for the first time, only on page ninety three. Come on, Rick Riordan, come on. Seriously, I need more Percy. I need more Percy. But I'm also contradicting everything I was saying in the past. But you know what? I'm allowed to. I said um, on page 182, I said, I'm attached to the characters, but not the book, or Percy or Annabeth. But the thing is that I was already attached to Percy and Annabeth before, but it didn't heighten my attachment to them in a way. Like, each of the books that I've read in these series just makes me love Percy and Annabeth even more, and this one, they were barely in it. Okay, and on page 381 was my favorite line of the book. Like your zodiac sign? Percy asked. 
I'm a Leo. No, stupid, Leo said. I'm a Leo. You're Percy. Idiot. I love him so much! So, I love the characters. I learned to love the characters, but I didn't love the book. And the ending? Wistful. Imaginative. Lingering feeling of something more just beyond the horizon. But seriously, you cheated with that one. Like, they all think Leo's dead. How long are they gonna think Leo is dead for? But they're all okay. So I wasn't too happy with the ending. But the thing is that the reason I wasn't too happy with the book or the ending was because I wasn't overly emotional about it. Like, I was preparing myself to be super crushed and super emotional about it, but the truth is, I wasn't. Rick Gordon did an excellent job of making me feel attached to the other characters I didn't feel attached to before, and just making everyone a hero in this. Nico and Will Solis. The flirting going on there, hinting at more. There's so much hinting at more, but then even also not hinting. Even when um, Percy and Annabeth we're really excited because they were going to go off to college and we're gonna live together. Just kind of like retiring from the whole demigod business. I mean, they can't ever, but you know, still, it's kind of like, maybe they can. And Jason going on to find his purpose, going back and forth between the camps. Like, everyone has a future, is what I'm saying. Like, everyone has something out there waiting for them. Like, ah, oh, it's amazing. And then, um, Percy being oblivious about Nico's sexuality. For a long time, Nico said, I had a crush on you. Just wanted you to know. Percy looked at Nico, then at Annabeth, as if to check that he'd heard correctly, then back at Nico. You, yeah, Nico said. You're a great person, but I'm over that. I'm happy for you guys. You, so you mean, right. Annabeth's gray eyes started to sparkle. She gave Nico a sideways smile. Wait, Percy said. So you mean, right, said Nico again. But it's cool, we're cool. I mean, I see now you're cute, but you're not my type. I'm not your type. Wait, so, see you around, Percy, Nico said. Annabeth? She raised her hand for a high five. Nico obliged. Then he walked away, back across the green, where Will Solis was waiting! <laughs> so now Nico is good! Nico is good! Finally! He's good! He's, he's okay! That's what matters! They're all okay! All of them! They're all okay! They're all okay! Like, did you cheat? I feel like it didn't, I feel like he didn't even cheat though. On the Friday after the book came out, I went to see Rick Rodin live at a book talk with my sister Mia. He was talking about the book a little bit, but then he also talked about, um, he's writing a new series, as I'm sure you got, a lot of you guys know, Magnus Chase, Chase and the Gods of Asgard, and Magnus Chase, 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 hmm, Chase, Annabeth? Chase? Yes, they are related. Magnus Chase and the Gods of Axelard is about Annabeth's cousin, so that's pretty cool. I kind of like that. I really hope that she makes an appearance in it, or at least they reference it. I'm really excited about that, and if you want, you can see pictures from the Rick Gordon book talk on my Instagram, which is in the description. Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, email, uh, my channel, apparently is on there too, and uh, my NaNoWriMo, and my Young Writers Program NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo update? I'm at 13,550 words. It's good, I'm I am on track. So if you guys aren't on NaNoWriMo or Young Writers Program, um, be my writing buddy, look at the description. And now I am off to see Big Hero 6. Is that what it's called? With my sister. If you like this video, then you can like it. And if you like me, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking at my face up here. Um, if you want to see my last video, which was a smoky eye fail, uh, you can click here. Um, also, tell me what you think about Percy Jackson, makeup, basically anything in the comments and check for links in the description um and i will see you next week like click subscribe comment bye guys there would be oh nico story cliffhanger oh now it's at annabeth ha ha, ha. and then you're reading anna no um it's like nico ha ah, cliff little hit cliffhanger no reading nico little cliffhanger